I think the first half of the season was an indication of the potential this team has. We increased our average score significantly over the previous season. We had some good team scores. We had some really high individual scores. Uh, Call Host had some real strong air rifle scores through the entire first half of the season. And uh, Dan Jonas and Zach Gibson both had some personal best in small bore. I thought our performance at the President's Trophy was one of our stronger performances. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, it's probably a team record at that format. So, you know, we got off to a good first half. Uh, to continue to get stronger, we're currently ranked 14th in the country, but the delta between 14 and number 8 and number 7, where we want to be for the NCAA championship, really is not that far. We're, we're talking about 20, 30 points probably. It's a tightly packed race to make the NCAA championship. Uh, we start this week with USP, and uh, we're going to go up to Philly. We typically have a good match there, but a uh, week from Saturday, we shoot against uh, national champions West Virginia, and West Virginia just shed a new NCAA record this past week. So we've got our work cut out for us. We have really the, the toughest part of our season probably is upcoming with WVU and then uh, Akron up at Palmyra, then Army, then Ole Miss and Nebraska will be here, and then we have the qualifier against John Jay. So this is really where the, the rubber meets the road. So match pressure is an interesting topic that is sort of asked a lot, and it varies a lot from person to person. And I think that we as a team sort of need to strive to work harder on improving ourselves, especially in these high-pressure matches, including West Virginia, including Army, including NCAA qualifier, including any match, really. Uh, there's a lot of pressure that happens in matches, and something that skilled shooters do is have this ability to sort of take the pressure that they feel and just put it aside and just shoot well. Practice, and I think we've already gotten off to a good start. Uh, this week, our kids are competing in the Junior Olympic qualifier, and just yesterday, uh, three of our shooters got automatic invitations. They shot scores that were high enough that they are uh, qualified for invitations to go to the Junior Olympics in Colorado Springs. That's a big step. It's probably the most automatic qualifiers we've had in years. And we have the potential that uh, two others are going to qualify in air gun. And we'll see how they do today in small bore. I also think that we've got a, a little bit more uh, focused attitude as we come back. We, we are real clear about what the mission is. Uh, to beat Army is something that we've been striving for for the last several years. And when we come up against them in February, we're, pre we're preparing to be ready for them and to win that match. So first and foremost, I, I want everyone to work hard, and I want everyone to have fun. I mean, this sport is just a lot of fun. It, it's challenging. It's mentally just drives you insane. It drives you in a corner every match, every practice, because there isn't sort of this other like lineman right next to you that you have to be stronger than. It's not this runner right next to you that you have to be faster than. It's you on the line and you shooting against yourself. You can't really rely on your teammates to shoot better for you. You have to shoot better for yourself. And it's sort of this incredible mind game that we're all playing and that I want all of us to play better and I want all of us to try harder. And that goes both on and off the range because I want to see everyone excel in school. I want to see everyone excel in the PRT. And I just want everyone to sort of do the best that they can. Going to Alaska Fairbanks last year to represent Navy and NCAA was honestly a really cool experience. And to go back to the NCAA championships, it's sort of this match that's filled with zest and filled with these people who want to actively get better and shoot better. And sort of one of the pinnacle events of this sport outside of the Olympics, outside of some of the more higher level shooting that just has people who love this sport, want to actively get better and just enjoy it and are doing this for fun and just it it's this really cool experience that I'm trying to impart on my teammates and myself because I don't want to go there alone I want to have the team with me I want this to be a team experience not just an individual experience